Welcome back to another video, Iron Sharpens Iron. There are seven things that God hates, and we're going to figure out exactly what they are so we can avoid them, so we can stay in his good grace, y'all. Amen. So right here, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. These six things doth the Lord hate. Ye, seven are an abomination unto. In other words, here are the six things he hates. Correction is really seven of them. And the scripture reads, as so a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow discord among brethren. So we're going to break down these six, correction seven, things down so that we can get a better understanding of it. There's no reason, y'all, there's no reason to read the Bible if as soon as you put that bad boy down, you don't understand what you just read. So you, you got to understand what you're reading so that you can apply it. Amen. Proud look. You think you better than everybody else. You think you're better than people. You worried about what other people think. You got pride. Oh, man, especially us black people. Man, society has got us. They got us want to just be proud of everything. Black power, black pride, proud of black. Like they want you to be proud of black everything. Voted in a president just because he was black. Just, just wanted to be proud all the time. Color, color does not matter. I'm telling you, they, they want Jesus to be black. Brother, brother, did you, did you know, you know, Jesus was black, right? You know, I'm just saying, you know, it, it doesn't matter what color he was. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, the color of Jesus does not matter. It just matters on who's living by his word and who's not. Are you obeying his commandments? God can't use you to help further the kingdom if you're too worried about what people see. If you make everything about you, oh, I did this. I did that. It was all me. I did that. You know, God, God's not sharing the spotlight with you. So if you got pride or you, you want, you don't even want to ask God for help. It's been me by myself. I don't need you. I can do bad all on my own. That, that's what you're really saying. When you, when you don't even ask God for help because you're too prideful to even ask. You think you can do everything by yourself. A lying tongue. You willfully deceive, speaking lies on everybody. Everything that come out your gums, your as soon as your gums start flapping, you telling the greatest fiction stories ever told. Your nickname is Pinocchio. Psalms 101 and 7. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. So man, right there, you keep on bending the truth, you see what God said, you, you, you're not making it in his house. You will be knocking at the gates of heaven and nobody will answer. Hands that shed innocent blood. Between the 1970 and 2014, the CDC Centers for Disease Control of Prevention reported nearly 44.5 million legal induced abortions. And this is only in the U.S. It's not it's not counting all the other countries. And it and it only went up to 2014. So we all the way in 2018. Man, I don't I couldn't even think about where that number's at now. Proverbs 1 and 17. Surely in vain, the net is spread in sight of any bird. In other words, what it's really saying, you know, don't 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 get caught in your own mischief. If you take a life, you really I know that's a touchy subject for a lot of people, but. Regardless of the the matter, what the situation is, you know, it's, you know, you, you can't kill, you, especially innocent blood. Man, God does not like that. That baby had nothing to do with none of that. It's not his fault. You know, it's not really, it's your decision to make it. But again, it's, that's not, it's not it's something that God frowns upon. Heart that divides wicked imagination. If your heart is plotting schemes, you're thinking of ways to lead people astray. God gonna get you for that. If you were you a used car salesman and you know that car that you about to give that family of five is trash and not worth the duct tape that's holding it together, and you set those people up knowing that it's gonna break down three days later, you, you better watch out, Jack. You better watch out. You you can't be doing people dirty like that always. You know it's you know you finna do somebody wrong. If you do this step, it's gonna lead to them being sabotaged and hurting in life. Then no, you you can't do that. That's you doing wicked schemes and you your imagination and you planning on doing stuff like that. You you better watch out, Jack. Feet that be swift to running to mischief. 
Are you a busybody? You you stay on the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and all the tweets. You about all the mess. You quick to run into some gossip soon as it happened. Soon as something go down, you the first one with all the details. Your nickname is Gossip Gina. Like, oh man, you, God don't like ugly. This, see, this, this is actually should only apply to women. Because no real men should be gossiping about anything. Real men don't do that. If, if you can't say amen, you ought to say ouch. Proverbs 11 and 13. A gossip estrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. So right, stop, stop telling everybody's business. That's, that's not your business. Don't, don't be telling people stuff like that. Stop looking for it and spreading all the rumors and things of that nature. That's, that's not good. False witnesses that speaketh lies. Liars, you, you always trying to put a spin on the truth. You using insinuating words. Everything, I'm telling you, everything was just fine until somebody had to just take it to a whole nother level. Now we talking about something completely different. I know y'all know exactly who I'm talking about, what I'm talking about. We all know that person. You work really hard, huh? Yeah, man, I do whatever it takes to get on top. Oh, and then, then somebody gonna come. Hmm, <laughs> I bet you do whatever it takes to get on top. Then they gonna tell everybody at work. Y'all know Ashley said she do whatever it takes to get on top. Now, every time you get a promotion, a pat on the back, everybody think you're sleeping with the boss because somebody went with these insinuating words and they, you know, playing on stuff that wasn't really going on. They started adding extra stuff and they spreading, they spreading lies and rumors just by doing stuff like that. Proverbs 19 and 9, a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Again, I'm telling you, God don't like ugly. Last one. He that soweth discord among brethren, they fall and, man, I'm telling you, everybody know this person. They fall and they want to bring everybody down with them. A perfect example is when your kids, even, oh man, adults do this too. That's the crazy part because this is really something that you should grow out of as a kid. But a good example right here, you, you have a siblings. <laughs> One of y'all get in trouble and then they start telling on everybody just so they not alone. I didn't, did this happen to anybody else? Am I am I the only person that grew up like this? I'm telling you, your mama mama caught them with their hand in the cookie jar. Then they start snitching on you. O'Brien had a girl over when you wasn't home. What? Now you looking like, man, I know she didn't just. Now you 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 gotta throw somebody else under the heat because you don't want to get in trouble. And then you go, well, Tanya got two D's on her report card and she forged your signature last week. And then I'm. <laughs> I'll tell you, I know somebody just had a flashback. They just went down memory lane with that. I know this happened to, this happened to other people. That's a, a prime example. You're showing discord. Something bad happened to you, and now you bring everybody else down with you. You got fired on your job, and then now you leave, and you try to make everybody else get fired. You start telling everybody stuff, and you're putting everybody else's business out. You, want, you don't want to feel alone, so you want somebody else to feel bad when you feel bad. And that's wrong. You can't do that. And I know everybody, 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 including me, myself, everybody is guilty of doing something on this list at least one point in time in their life. So here's the good news. I know everybody like good news. The good news is, y'all, that if you've been doing all seven of these things, you've been doing them every day, all day, your whole life. If you repent and ask God for forgiveness, then you're good. You can't, you, you, you can't go back though. That's the important part. You can't go back to what you was doing. When you repent, that, that means to turn away. You ask for forgiveness and you turn away. So after you ask for forgiveness, you can't go back to lying on people no more. You can't go back to, you know, having all this pride and, you know, you, you can't, you don't want to share the spot, the spotlight with God. You can't go back to spreading gossip and mischief, uh, mischief anymore. You, you know, you could have, you could have had an abortion, but if you repent, and you ask God for forgiveness, it's, it's like it never even happened. We all must stand before the, the judgment of Christ one day. We all got to do it, everybody. And everything that you've done is going is to be before him. But if you ask for forgiveness and you turn from, you know, these seven things that God is saying that he hates, he hates these seven things, you didn't pray to God and say, God, you know, I done messed up. Uh, I shouldn't have been lying on them people. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did that. And you ask for forgiveness. And you, you turn from it because nobody's perfect. You know, you're not going to live a perfect lifestyle, not perfect, but exemplary. So you might mess up along the way a couple more times. But as long as you 
you know, you, you still strive for righteousness, then you're going to be good. You, you're going to be good. You don't have to worry about it. Man, this was some good information. I pray you learned something, y'all. If you did, please share this information with somebody. Help each other out. Iron sharpens iron. If you see somebody else struggling with any of these things, let them know. Uh, God hates that. You might want to stop doing it. And, you know, you help them with it. Help them stay on that path of righteousness. Stay in his good grace. So when it comes time for judgment, you're not getting judged for something that you know you shouldn't have uh, been doing. And don't forget to like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, all that good stuff. And as always, we're too blessed to be stressed. Stay blessed by the best. And don't forget to pray for the rest. Until next time.